guys, it's May here. Welcome to my channel and welcome to Cooking 101. For today's dish, we're going to make samunggo. It has been a long time since I did this dish and it's just a stress reliever for me to eat munggo today. So anyhow, anyhow, um, the ingredients for my munggo today, I have some pork over here. A little bit of ginger red onions scallions i used two pieces of roma tomatoes yellow bell peppers red bell peppers four cloves of garlic chop and over here i have one tablespoon of the chicken or seasoning mix on this dish we're also going to use the bell oliva cooking oil but uh, you guys can use any kind of cooking oil that you guys want. This mungo today, I couldn't find any spinach. Um, I went to the store and they don't have a nice spinach. So I decided not to put anything. So this is just a very basic ingredients for you guys to use when you guys are cooking mungo. I wanted to put some shrimps on this, but... You know, here at home, I usually get itchy when I eat shrimp, so I'm not going to add any of that. But for future preference, you guys can also use shrimps on this. I have some cabbage here, and I wanted to add some cabbage, but I said to myself, no, this is mungo, and I don't really like the aftertaste of cabbage with mungo. So anyhow, this is just basic. So let's go, guys, and start cooking. Oh, before anything else, I already started cooking my mongo, so this is ready to use. So what I did was, I just boiled this one with water and cook it. And there's nothing on, on this one yet, so this is just basically just plain mung beans. So, okay, let's start cooking, guys. So we're going to cook our mongo on my beautiful wok here. So I'm going to use 3 to 4 tablespoons of the cooking oil. For my subscribers that are just learning how to cook, to test your cooking oil if it is ready to use, you just have to dunk your wooden spoon or if you're using chopsticks, just dunk it. And if you see it's bubbling underneath, then that means that your oil is ready to use. Okay, friends, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to saute the garlic. Let's wait for the garlic to turn into a golden color. Next, the red onions. Followed by the ginger. Okay, let's mix. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to saute the pork. Okay, let's get the pork. If you guys are not allergic to shrimp, then you can add. Let's add some black pepper. So I'm using the fresh grind black pepper. It's always good to use the fresh ones. Okay, so let's cover this one up. And we're going to let this one simmer for 15 minutes. Okay guys, let's check our pork. Hmm. 
Let's mix. So let's cover this one back and let it simmer for another 10 minutes. Okay, friends, let's check. Hmm. Now, I'm going to add my tomatoes. The yellow bell peppers. The red bell peppers. And I'm going to add... The chicken nor seasoning mix. Mix. And then we're going to let this one simmer again for another 10 minutes. And after that, we're going to mix our mung beans. Our mung beans is already cooked, so we don't have to worry about that. Okay, let's cover them back. And we wait. Okay, friends, let's check our pork. Mm Okay, now we're going to add the scallions. And we are going to add our cooked mung beans now. My sister is going to pour it. Okay, let's go, sure. I'm gonna hold down. Yeah, slowly, down, down. Then we mix. This is a very plain and simple mungo, guys. So if all, if you are in a budget meal, this is one of the best thing to cook. I know the kids will like this. Plain and simple, and yet masustansya na na food. Okay, so we're going to let this one simmer for five minutes. We're going to taste it if we need some salt because usually, guys, I don't really use salt on my cooking. So let's cover them up and we taste after and I'll show you guys the finished product. Okay, friends, this is our finished product. This is our Ginisang Mungo, the very basic, very plain and simple cooking 101 for Ginisang Mungo. If you guys like this video, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And also, if you haven't subscribed on this channel yet, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching and have a blessed day everyone wherever you are in the world. And may the good Lord bless us all. See you guys again next time.